So, I uh, had a question in the IRC channel, and the person came in and wanted to know how to set up their wireless network adapter to work um, with the VMs. <clears throat> I was at work, I, I did my best to help them, and um, basically weren't able to figure it out. So I came home, I unplugged myself, and fortunately I have a wireless adapter in here that I could uh, test with. And so I got myself connected to my access point and started tinkering around. I spent about two days working on it before I um, finally, uh, you know, I got it working in a couple different ways. One way I had to re um, uh, build a custom kernel. Way too convoluted and difficult uh, to do on, um, you know, a video on. S the other way, I set up an open VPN server, and as well, that was way too convoluted. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just too much to go into at this point. Well, I figured, you know, we don't really need to bridge our network adapter for these tutorials. Um, a, a bridge network adapter will basically make the virtual machine like an actual physical system on the network. Um, what we're going to do will basically make a little private network um, on our machine. Our, our, with our, our host machine will be basically the only system that's able to see it. Nothing outside of this host machine will be able to uh, connect to the virtual uh, to the virtual machines. So let's get into it. How did I do this? I came over here to Virtual Machine Manager. Okay, right click, hit Details. Go to the Virtual Networks tab. You should have a default network in there, and it should be started. So basically, this is grayed out and this is grayed out, and you can stop it, but it should be started. If you do not, hit the little plus sign, hit forward, name it, let's say default, hit forward, hit forward, make sure enable DHC, uh, DHCP is checked, hit forward, and on this part you want to uh, check the button forwarding to physical network, and it says any physical device, mode, NAT, that's fine, hit forward, and then hit finish, and that will create the default network. Then on your VMs, if you've already built them, open it and hit uh, View Details and come down to the NIC here, select that, drop down this box and select uh, Virtual Network Default NAT. Okay? And then hit Apply and you know if it's if it's uh, if your machine is powered on you're gonna have to shut it down and restart it. And this is basically what we want. We want to see this. Okay, so start these up. Open that one. And open this one. And we'll boot them up. <clears throat> Now, see, mine's saying it's uh, bringing up the inter interface right now. Yours may not say that, and I'll show you how to get it to do that, bring it up on boot. Okay, so log in. And use Nano at this point, but I don't have Nano installed, so I'm just going to use VI. And, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Uh, edit this file. Uh, slash Etsy slash sysconfig slash network dash scripts slash 
ifcfg dash eth zero. So slash etsy slash sysconfig slash network dash scripts slash ifcfg dash eth zero. Edit that and where it says on boot it may say no change it to yes. Say yes bring it up on boot. Okay then save it and exit <clears throat> and it'll bring it up on boot. Now if you type in IP space L and it says ETH0 and it says state down type in if up ETH0 and that'll bring it up right now. So from here on out you won't have to type in if up ETH0 it'll bring it up on boot. So type that in hit enter and that'll bring it up. It'll get an IP address. So I'll show you what what uh, basically I was trying to accomplish. So IP adder show ETH0 and this has an IP address of 192.168.122.137 and IP adder show this one has an IP address of 192.168.122.211 so from VM2 I'm going to type in SSH 192.168.122.137 <clears throat> and that's the IP address of VM1 right so I want to be able to connect from one from uh, VM2 to VM1 I hit enter boom it says you know the authenticity cannot be established that means it's connecting okay so VM2 sees VM1 and VM2 has an IP of uh, 211 so 192.168.122.211 boom VM1 sees VM2 now if I come over to the physical machine I type in SSH 192.168.122.211 Okay, my physical machine sees that one, and it sees that one. <clears throat> so what this means is I have a little localized network on this machine. Now, my wife has a laptop, she has Windows on there. If I were to download PuTTY, and I were to try to connect to one of these VMs, I wouldn't be able to do it. I would be able to connect to my physical machine here from hers because it's a physical machine on the network and that's what a bridged interface basically does is makes the machine a physical machine on the network but I wouldn't be able to connect to the VMs but that's perfectly fine because we 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 basically just are working from our uh, physical host machine here and we're working with these VMs in this environment so that is KVM so I'm going to shut these systems down okay So I'm going to shut those down and let's load up VirtualBox. Okay. All right. Close out of this. Now come to uh, VirtualBox. <clears throat> now, if I right click on my VM here and I hit Settings. Yours may be NAT. That doesn't work. That doesn't work like, uh, like um, you know, KVM. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to come up and go to File, Preferences. Okay. Come down to this network here. And I already created it, but just hit the little plus sign. And that will create VBOX NET 0. Okay. Now hit OK so you got VBOX net 0 right click on your machine hit settings <clears throat> go to the network and choose host only adapter and make sure VBOX net 0 hit OK if you have more than one virtual machine do it for both virtual machines or however many you have start them up and your host will be able to you know see both of the VMs and the VMs can see each other. So that is how we um, do this if you're if you have a wireless adapter. 
Now, you may also notice, though, that this has, under Network, you can choose Bridged Adapter, and you can choose your wireless interface. I did that, and I, I got a kernel panic, and my system just crashed. So that may work for you. It may not. Um, you may have the same issue as I did. You don't have to have the bridge interface, so if it doesn't work for you, you know, just uh, create your uh, host-only network here. And that's, that's how we do it with wireless.